corporate scandals of the late 20th century and early 21st century, as well as the GFC, drove practitioners to the conclusion that traditional financial statements did not adequately reflect a company's value. This is evidenced by analysis of companies listed on the great stock exchanges of the world, where the analyses found that sometimes up to 20% of the market value was made up of additives which would be included in a balance sheet according to financial reporting standards, but 80% was not being reported on. To be accountable and transparent, that which we report needs to be understandable. To report in an incomprehensible manner to 99.9% .9 of users of an annual report results in knowledge being lost in a mass of information. And that's, I'm afraid, what we've all been guilty of for decades. The draft makes it clear that integrated reporting is guided by the concept of integrated thinking. The report is the outcome. Integrated thinking is the act <clears throat> of consideration by an organization of the relationship between its various operating and functional units and what we call the six capitals. Some people refer to them as the resources. But we believe that all, all organizations mostly use all six at some time or another of financial, manufactured, natural, human, intellectual, social, which includes the ongoing relationships with the key stakeholders of an organization. Integrated thinking leads to integrated decision-making and actions that consider the creation of value over the short, medium, and long term. Integrated reporting is a process that results in communication by an organization, most visibly through a periodic integrated report about value creation over time. The report itself is a clear, concise, and understandable communication about how an organization's strategy, governance, performance and prospects in the context of its external environment lead to the creation of value in the short, medium term.